guys, welcome back to another workout on Body After Baby. And today we'll be doing upper body and abs. We're jumping right into it because by now you guys would have known the drill. And if you're new to the channel, be sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell that way you don't miss a video. And if it's your first time, let me just run through the instructions and tell you guys real quick so that way you're not lost and you can know exactly what to do. So the first thing you want to do before you consider start working out is make sure that you warm those muscles up. And I always recommend that you skip for at least six seconds. That way you know those muscles are really warm. But if you feel like running, go ahead and do it. If you feel like, well, it's a cardio before, go ahead and do it. But just make sure that you guys are warm before you go ahead and do any one of my programs. It doesn't really matter which of the programs that you choose. And if you guys don't know by now, I am a mommy. So if you hear my kids in the background, that's totally fine because this is raw and real life. And I'm doing this at home. And I'm, I'm guessing that so are you. Timer will be provided for you. We'll be doing a hit upper body and abs. We'll be doing three circuits with three sets in each circuit. And each workout we'll be doing for 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds with one minute rest between each set. And then we'll repeat that and so on and so forth. But as time goes by, I'll show you the examples of what we're gonna do so that you guys are not lost. And the coolest thing about the workouts is that I'll be doing them with you. We'll be struggling together, we'll be doing them together, we'll be hitting every mark together, we'll be flatlining together. So don't worry about it. If you also don't hear the time, I'll be blabbering away and let you know when to go and when to stop, and that way you guys can be on track. Also, do not worry about how fast you go. It's how much you can get the workout done effecti effectively, stay consistent and stay on your track and just get the workout done. So you need a spot on the floor with your mat, you need your water, you need a sweat towel because I promise you that you are going to sweat through it. During any one of my workout sessions, even if it's a little sweat, you're going to need to wipe it away from your eyes because girl, you do not want that sweat in your eyes. We're going to be doing push-ups. So don't matter the, the speed of how you're going, just make sure you get the workout in. So this workout is going to target all the upper body, especially the arms. So everybody who have this flabbing underneath here, this one is definitely for you. And if you want to lose weight, the entire upper body, this one is definitely for you. So the first three workouts we're going to jump in is push-ups first. Then we're going to do pulse rows. Then we're gonna do mountain climbers. So I'm going to get down on my mat and show you the examples of all the workouts that we're about to do right now. So are you ready? Make sure you're ready and warm because I'm pumped and I'm excited to take you through this workout step by step. And I'm assuming you should be too. So let's go. The first example we're gonna do is push-ups. And we are gonna go on your hands and then foot out, down, and up and if you can't do it on your toes you can simply go on your knees and still get it in it is still as effective so don't worry about being on your knees with practice being on your knees you'll eventually be able to go on your toes then we're gonna do pulse rolls you're gonna lay on your back you're gonna lay on your stomach excuse me and then you're gonna lift your shoulders high like that and down high so you just go up and pause for a few seconds and then back down and then the next one we're gonna do is mountain climbers up on your hands and it's like you're basically running on the spot so those are the three exercises that we're gonna do in the first circuit so I'm gonna get the timer ready and make sure you guys are ready to go so listen to the timer Five, four, three, come on Let's go with the push-up. I'm going on my knees with you guys for the first one. So come on, let's go. Down and up. Nice, just like that. Come on, you're almost there. Then into pulse rolls, lay on your stomach. And up, up. Squeeze your shoulder blade in the middle. Squeeze in the middle when you get up. Then into mountain climbers. Come on, you guys. It's the last one in the set. Come on. Come on. 
Almost there. One minute. Woo! And I'm already sweating. That's already the first set in the first circuit. So we have two more sets to go in this circuit. <coughs> Seconds. So now that you know what the exercises are going to be, we're going to clean up the second set and jump right into it. So we're going to push up, then we're going into pulse rows, then we're going right into mountain climbers. So get ready you guys. One minute, 40 seconds. 20 seconds rest to go. Get in the push up, push up position. And let's go. This one I'm going on my toes so we can crush this second set. Position yourself. Come on. Stay with me. Push ups on your knees, on your toes, whichever way you decide. Pulse rows, come on. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Just like that, come on. Squeeze. Ah. Mountain climb, come on. Woo! Climb. Climb that mountain. Come on, you guys. Feel the burn. Come on. Three minutes. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. Let me wipe that sweat away, man. That does two sets in, and I'm already feeling every bit of it. Woo! We have three minutes, 20 seconds. Four seconds rest to go. With one last set in the first circuit. Wow. This one is rough. So we're fixing all the upper body and abs at the same time. Make sure you guys get in your water in. We have 20 seconds rest to go. And then we're gonna kill this last set in this first circuit. Come on, be mentally ready, be physically ready. Wipe your foot and drink your water. Position yourself and get ready to go. Go in with push up. Four minutes. Let's go on your knees. Come on. There we go. Just like that. It's just that effective. Come on. That's okay if you're on your knees. I'm there with you. Come on, mama. Four minutes, 20 seconds. Pulse rows, come on, down on your stomach. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Squeeze it. Squeeze. Squeeze at the top. That's it. Come on. Work those muscles. Yes. Come on. There we go. Into mountain time is the last set. Go faster. It's the last set. Come on. Stay with me. Come on. You feel this one in you. Everywhere. There we go. First set done. First circuit done. We're jumping right into the second circuit right now. And we're doing diamond push-ups. Diamond push-ups is just like the push-ups, but we're putting our hands in a diamond. Go down as low as you can Five and back up. Seconds. And then we're jumping into snow angel, reverse snow angel. So just like how you made the snow in the, in the snow on your back, but you're going on your stomach this time. And then we're going into toe tap. We're gonna lay on our back, foot up in the air, and reach for your toes. Five minutes, 40 seconds. Now we have 20 seconds rest to go. So get ready for the diamond push up. You can be on your knees just like you did the push-up. I'm going to go there with you and put your hand in a diamond. Lock your hand 
in, not out, and get that done. Six minutes. Here we go. Foot, hand in a diamond, and in. So you bring your elbows in, like that. In, like that. And feel it. Even when you're on your knees, you feel that. Six minutes, 20 seconds. Then we're going right into reverse snow angel. You lay on your stomach up, just like that. Open up. Make a nice snow angel. Up. Just like that. Feel that. Yes. Six minutes, 40 seconds. Then toe tap. Go lay on your back, foot up. Tap your toe, tap your toe, tap your toe. Don't worry if you're short like me and can't touch your toe. Just reach and reach, reach, tap. There we go. Second circuit, second set. We're finished. And now we're jumping into the second set of the circuit. Be ready because I'm ready. We have 20 seconds left to go, you guys. Get ready. Diamonds push up our first. Then reverse snow angel. Then toe taps. Seven minutes, 40 seconds. We have 20 seconds. The diamond push ups this time. I'm gonna go on my toes for those who are doing it from their toes. So don't worry yourself, both is just as effective. You'll get stronger as time go by. So you'll be able to manage anything, just stay consistent. Here we go. Diamond push up, hand in a diamond, out on your toe, and down and up. Go as low as you can. I'm going about 50% low and back. Eight minutes, 20 seconds. Make that snow angel right now. Come on. Let's go. Snow into it. Snow. 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 Come on. Out and up. Out and in. Out and in. Come on. Eight minutes, 40 seconds. Now you turn over and tap your toes. Foot up. Tap them. Get it. Get it, girl. Up, go. Come on. Reach. Reach as far as you can. Five minutes. Yes. There we go with the second set. Done. And we're going to jump into the third and final set of this second circuit. Let me get some water in. Because I need it. We're flying by this workout already. We'll be just a little bit under 20 minutes. So you're getting this workout done under 20 minutes. Isn't that amazing? You're sweating, you're working the muscles, it's effective, and you're killing it. I can feel the energy minutes, through the screen. Seconds. 20 seconds rest to go. Be ready for the diamond push-up. Then the snow angel and the toe tap. This last diamond push up, I'm going on my toes. So who's going on their toes, do that. Who's going on their knees, let's do that. Get ready to kill this last set. Come on. Put your hand in the diamond position and go. Then into snow angel. Come on. It's snowing. Come on. Snow that. Come on. Look how beautiful you are. Let's go. Do it. Don't give up. Don't stop. And now you turn over and you tap your toe. Reach for a spot. Far as you can go. Up. Squeeze in those abs. Come on. 
Let's go. You can do it. Woo. 11 minutes. There we go. There we go. With the third and final set of this circuit. And now we're jumping into the very last circuit. So 11 minutes, 20 seconds. So the third and final circuit we're doing plank reach out, then downward dog lifts, then roll over crunches. Plank out, you're going in a plank position, then reach each hand, alternating, just like that. 40 seconds. Then downward dog dead lifts, you're going in a push up position, put your butt up, and reach each foot. Then for the roll over crunches, you're going to lay on your back, and roll your hands over your knees as you crunch. 12 minutes. Ready? Let's go. Plank with reach. Plank, reach, 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 reach. Come on. 12 minutes, 20 seconds. Downward. Dog deadlift up and kick out, out. So you're working everywhere with this one. Hands, abs, glutes, feel it, feel it. 40 seconds. Now we're going to roll over crunch, lay on your back, roll your hand over your knees, roll them up, crunch, feel that. Come on, come on, let's go. Ah. 13 minutes. Woo! That one wasn't easy, and don't have to rush into it, because I have to explain the exercises to you. Now that you know the three exercises that we're gonna do, we're gonna clean it up, go hard on the second and the last set. We only have two sets to complete. Seconds. So these two, I want you to give me every last energy that you have inside of you. <sighs> Leave it all on the mat. Leave it all in the muscles. Go hard. Never limit yourself. Never let your mind play games on you. Don't tell yourself you can't do it. Convince yourself that you can do it. Speak it into existence that you can do it. You will do it and you'll get better at it as the days goes by. So we have 20 seconds left to go. Plank with reach first, then downward dog leg lift, then roll over crunches. 14 minutes. Now get ready to go with plank with the reach. Come on. Plank down, reach, 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 reach. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Stay with me. 14 minutes. Stay with me. Downward dog lift, leg lift, come on, up, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, stay with me, come on, work it, you can do it, Woo! this feels so good, 14 minutes, 40 seconds, then you roll over on your back and let your palm go over your knee, roll them, roll them, Come on, feel that burn. Don't give up. Even when your abs trembling, let it tremble some more. There we go. One last set to go to complete the entire workout for today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, and I can tell that you're feeling the same. Don't be talking like I am. Save your energy. The last set of the entire workout for the day. We're going to give this one our absolute all. Give it everything that you have in you. When you finish, just know that you're finished. Let's flatline on this one. Come on, are you ready? Come on, let's go. 15 minutes, 40 seconds. 20 seconds rest to go. Remember, we're going plank with the reach first. Then we go in downward dog leg lifts, then roll over crunches. Position yourself. 
Get ready. Give it everything you got, girl. Let's go. Plank with a reach. Plank, reach. Come on. Go faster this time. But effective. Come on. Give me everything you got. Let's see how much you can get in this set. If you can give me five, put six instead. Come on. Last downward dog lift. Leg lift you're doing. Leg lift. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Stay with me. Come on. It's the last one. Here we go. On your back as fast as you can. And roll over your knees. Just like that. Come on. Here we go. That's it. Come on. Woo! There we go. Yes. There we go. Woo! And that brings us to the end of today's session, you guys. That's a full, that's a full uh, upper body and abs that we just did. Love you guys. Make sure you guys are go ahead, make sure you guys are going ahead and drink your water. Stay motivated. If you want maximum results, faster results, I always recommend you do my workout twice. When you finish the third and final circuit, you go again from the top and repeat it. And then I guarantee you faster results. The one is enough if you don't have the energy, but convince yourself that you have the energy and you'll get better at it as time goes by. Make sure you go and watch all the What I Eat In A Day video so you have an idea how to eat and how to portion. Love you guys. Stick and stay. If you try these workouts, comment down below and let me know how it goes. Stick and stay and I'll see you guys in my next video.